Hello and welcome to our weekly video roundup. I'm Katrine Brahick and I'm going to take you through this week's best videos. To start off, we've got a rather graphic video of a spiny anteater. Zookeepers at the Corumbin Wildlife Sanctuary in Australia are the first to study how the males of this species ejaculate. The lucky anteaters have a four-headed penis, but the researchers found that half the penis shuts down right before ejaculation. This has never been observed in a mammal before, but is similar to the reproductive mechanism in reptiles, suggesting a shared evolutionary history. From the zoo we move on to a national park in Kenya, where researchers have been looking into whether elephants can distinguish between friendly humans and not-so-friendly ones. Caroline Williams tells us the story. Young Maasai warriors often spear elephants to demonstrate their virility. They traditionally wear red clothes that have a strong smell of cows, sheep fat and the dye they use to colour their skin. In this study, researchers presented elephants with red clothing. Some clothes were clean, some had been worn by Maasai people and some by the Kamba people who are less threatening to elephants. This video clip shows elephants after they smell clothes worn by Maasai people. The group bunches up, turns away and heads off much faster than when the elephants smelt clothes that were either clean or worn by the Kamba people. Those elephants are pretty wise to stick together. Still with the theme of Team Spirit, we move on to Utah for this year's Space Elevator Games. Teams created solar panelled vehicles and attempted to get them to climb up a pre space elevator cable. This one's an exciting climb from the Kansas City Space Pirates. Although solar panels fell off early on, at times their vehicle went faster than 2 metres per second. To win the 500,000 cash prize from NASA, they would have had to maintain that speed for the entire run but their vehicle was still the fastest one on that day. Good work, guys. Finally, last week, some sellout lectures by famous gene scientist James Watson were cancelled in the UK after he told the Sunday Times that he was inherently gloomy about the prospect of Africa. All our social policies are based on the fact that their intelligence is the same as ours, whereas all the testing says, not really. Gene pioneer Craig Venter commented on this at the Science Media Centre in London. I'm absolutely certain no basis of determining a disease, uh, personality, uh, intelligence using skin color as a surrogate for it. There's zero evidence for that. Uh, if there was scientific evidence and it needed debate, debating or being put in context, you know, I'd be happy to debate Jim or anybody else if he actually believed it. I don't think he believes whatever he was reported to say. And that's all for this week, but for more science and technology stories, you can always visit our website or buy the magazine. Bye for now.